Hey, welcome to Rock Up. Today we are going to be showing you how to stream your live games on TikTok. So I have a few windows open here. I'm not going to go through how to stream your headset to your computer um, because that would be much too long of a video and I don't think you guys have time for that. So I will put a link down below on how to do that portion of it. But the rest of it is going to be basically how to stream um, from your recording device, which is OBS onto your onto your um, onto TikTok. So first you start off by obviously downloading everything you need to do to be able to stream to Oculus again or onto this site here, which is the MetaQuest. Um, so you're going to go to oculus.com slash casting. Again, link will be in below. And you'll put, put your headset and you'll cast it onto here. So that's kind of step number one, just to kind of get everything going. Now, as I said, this process here, I will, uh, I'll quickly show you how it's done on this end. Just to give you a quick idea, so to cast onto your computer, you obviously open up that said website. You go up to, go to your bar right here, go to your little arrow where it says sharing. You're gonna click sharing, you're gonna go to cast, and then you're gonna find your computer right there. You're gonna go to next, and then it's gonna, hopefully, if all goes well, connect to your computer. Um, make sure that your internet, uh, both, your internet and your computer or your headset and your computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Don't forget that or else it just won't work. Next, you're going to go to a website called lola.tv. That's L-O-O-L-A dot TV. Um, you're going to basically create an account here. So what this is doing is it's giving you the, um, the opportunity to take your live stream from whatever device you're using. So I'll show how to use it on OBS and then pitch it over to Lola, and then Lola will then stream it out to TikTok. So far, this is the only way that I found that really works. Um, I'm sure there's other ways, but this is the way that worked for me. So one thing I do wanna go through is there is a price pricing plan. If you do wanna do this, it unfortunately does cost money. Um, the free broadcast only leaves you to 20 minutes of streaming time, and it is actually pretty hard to, uh, to get it streaming on the free service. Not to say that it doesn't, it, it does work, obviously, but you are better off with the premium or the pro service. Um, I currently upgraded to the pro service just because it's a little bit easier for me and I enjoy the ability to uh, push a, a higher resolution. And basically the main point was unlimited session time because the other ones you have maximum four hours on the premium and then unlimited session time. Also remember um, that when you do upgrade, um, if you're going to upgrade, pick one first. If you end up buying the premium and then you realize that you want to go to the pro, you do have to contact them for a refund of the premium. So as we go in here, it's going to ask you to set everything up your first time. So I've done that, but I'm just going to go into my settings. So you'll click on here and you'll you'll it'll ask you to connect it just like you would. So make sure that on your browser, you're connected to TikTok. So if you go into TikTok and log in, just like you normally would for all your TikTok to go on TikTok on your TV or on sorry, sorry, on your computer. Once you're logged in there, then you have the ability to um, to do the login via the computer through there. So to recap, we're just on part one. We're gonna log in through our headsets onto here. Part two is find Lola, get Lola up and running to whatever you want. You can use a free version. I'm not saying you can't, but it is a little bit easier to use the other one. Next portion of it, and this is going to be a little bit hard because I have OBS running in the background. Um, for myself, because of the way I have all, everything up and running, I actually have to close OBS first and run Lola. Um, but I'm going to try to do it this way instead. And hopefully this works. So you're going to pick the proper camera that you have. So you're going to go to OBS Virtual Camera. Then you're going to go down and you're going to pick the microphone. So I use voice meter. Um, so the reason I use voice meter, especially for TikTok, is because it collects all the audio and I can kind of administer the tracks through um, through voice meter. And then I can push it out to OBS and or so Lola. Well, mostly OBS. So I use voice meter. Um, if you want to know how to use that, I can explain it in the comments, but I'm not going to go too far into that because it's a lot of um, audio setup. But if you're not doing that and you're just using whatever you have on OBS, you can pick your different, you can pick your audio sources or whatever it may be. That's your output for your computer. So I'm going to pick uh, my voice meter here 
and then I'm going to pick the default portrait of 608 or you can do 720 but I'm also pushing out to um, Instagram as well and to and Twitch or Twitter and I'm also doing um, Trovo so all those those platforms there you're able to shrink it down a little bit more so um, actually Trovo shouldn't be open because that's on my other one irrelevant so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to click off here and I'm going to make one more comment before I say anything because I should have said this at the beginning and I apologize. But in order to go live on TikTok, you need a thousand followers. So that's kind of full stop. If you don't have a thousand follow followers, you actually can't go live on TikTok yet. Um, and then the other option is, is sometimes you'll see once you get a thousand followers, sometimes you'll see down here there's a live button or go live, I think it says. Um, they're currently only rolling that out to a certain selected few of people. So you can't actually obtain a stream key just yet for TikTok. Uh, you can, um, you can, you can beg and plead. Um, you can send them emails, but this way that I found is the easiest way. It is a little bit cost effective, um, or I shouldn't say cost effective, but it does cost money if you want to go the full route. But, um, but for me, it was a lot easier doing it this way. So the other uh, one I'm going to show you is um, the chat reader. So again, all these links are going to be below, but the chat reader helps, especially when you're engaging with your TikTok followers or your, your viewers, you want to make sure that you're able to connect with the chats and the gifts and everything that's happening. So it's hard to do that in the main uh, window when you're, if you have this up and say you're watching your specific feed, the feed for live, and I apologize, it's going to probably play some videos here and I'm gonna try to pause it before it does it but you're not really gonna be able to get the chat the chat's gonna be pretty hard to read from wherever you are especially when you got these bad boys on so this makes it big you can look through the nose if you have to um, and again we're running I want to make sure everybody's clear we're running um, native games off of the oculus we're not running uh, PC VR games on here so I know a lot of people are saying well you can get chat in here yes you can but not when you're running the uh, native games on uh, on the headset so if you're running the native games this website will help again it's in it's in the links below so we're gonna go back here we're back in Lola now we're able to stream so what I'm gonna do is just go oops make sure you click this button too this is your camera flip <laughs> how many times I've forgotten that and I'm gonna go click stream now obviously it looks like crap but this gives you an idea that it is now streaming what I have here and I'm re screen recording here so I'll show you in the mix down when I do all this that I am actually recording what I'm seeing one thing I do want to show here too is the settings um, and I won't right perfect okay uh, for streaming on to TikTok, there's a few settings that I recommend. Um, so first, your source is obviously going to be uh, Lola. Um, so um, I'm not currently in Lola right now because I'm recording onto here, but I'll show you another one in Lola. Your output is going to be something lower because, again, you're, you're streaming to a, a phone device. You don't need to have this extravagant bit rate because most phones actually won't even accept it. So you want to have something that's reasonable. Your audio bit rate is about the same. Small phone devices don't have the same audio capabilities as um, as your computer may have or your or your any of your larger devices. So 160 is pretty good. Um, you could go up to 320, but Honestly, I think you're just pushing out more than you need, but hey, it's up to you. Um, as for video bitrate, um, I like to go with simple, uh, just off the top. Now, I'm recording right now, so I can't change my bitrate, but I like to go with simple and just change these ones here. Your uh, encoder should always be your hardware if possible. If it's not, then obviously choose the default one. And then all this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, device, uh, again, you're gonna want your audio device to be what your actual audio device is. So mine is, as I said before, it's the it's the uh, voice meter. And then you wanna have your video and everything else based on whatever your base canvas is. So this is one thing that you will have to change. So your base canvas resolution um, for this, I'm going to cancel this video and I'm going to show you stop recording here all right so now what i'm showing you is what i have here for um TikTok. so this is how my TikTok looks um and what i'm doing now is i'm going to again stream it now it's obviously going to look a little weird um the way it's streaming 
but I'm going to push over to this right here. I'm going to go to settings. Move my settings over here. And hopefully I can show this without screwing everything up. All right, so output. So we're again, we're doing the 2500, we're doing 600, 160, your audio output, and then your video output is going to be uh, 1080 by 1920, but your, uh, that's your canvas, but your output is gonna be 720 by 1280. Um, and then you wanna, um, Lycos, and then you want your frames per second to be 60. Um, that's kind of the average ground. Um, depending on how, how well your internet is, you can push it a little bit more, but again, it's also the recipient. So I wanna go back up to streaming. This is the last push, is your server name is going to be this. They will explain it all through Lola. Push, um, obviously I'll put that in the show notes. And then you connect your screen, stream key and that's that's it. That's pretty much how it works. So once you have all that said and done, your screen is going to look much like this. I'm hoping I can get it a little smaller so that I can get everything in here. It's going to look like this. You're going to have your stream ability here. You have your webcam and your RTMP. Now you will have to click on RTMP to set up your um, stream key, which is which is fine. Um, that'll give you your stream key for your uh, settings for OBS. Then you can find out how many likes you have, how many comments you have, and you can read the chat. And then these are all your settings. You can turn off your mic, you can turn it on back on and off. So currently down below here, uh, music, giveaways, layout, effects, background, Q&A. There's not a lot here that is available only layout so you can change your broadcast um, title whatever you want it to be and you can change an overlay if you want and then the other one is a Q&A which um, I'm not really sure how it works currently so I apologize for that but all of your um, all of your likes and your views will show up here and your live chat will show up here but as I said I use specifically this one here as I find that it's a little bit easier to navigate especially through the headset Lastly, when you're ready to go live, just go up in the top right hand corner and click the go live. And within a few seconds, you should see it connect and you are ready to go. So in full, that's it. Please, if you like the content and you're happy with how I explain this, please put a comment and subscribe to our show. And hopefully we can help other content creators uh, use TikTok live. All right. As always, stay safe out there. Catch you on the flip side. Peace out.